guys and welcome back to my channel. Just before I get started on the video, I quickly want to say I'm really sorry about taking an unexpected break for about close to a month where I didn't upload anything at all and I took it for personal reasons. I don't really want to get into it but I'm back and to get back into the groove of uploading regularly again and yeah so this is going to be as you can already tell by the title below because you know YouTube changed everything around. Um, this is going to be a really big collective drugstore haul. This has been collected for about two months and this pretty much goes back to like um, early February so it's like two months of like shopping and collecting all this stuff. So with that said I did get a lot of questions on the last haul I did like this like a really big collective one um, as to like do I have a job and like where I get my money and stuff like that. Um, all the money spent on all this stuff hasn't just been handed to me like my mum just giving me like money to go shopping. I wish but no I have earned it all by doing like jobs around the house and stuff like that and yes with all the borrowed stuff said I'm going to go ahead and get started with nail products. Okay starting with the nail products I'm going to show you the first nail polish I remember buying back in the month of February and this is a Simple Colors nail polish in 927 Nail Junkie and it just looks like this like it's a turquoise shimmery glittery color it's really really pretty and it's kind of like an exact sort of dupe for an essence one that they had from their older collection and um, I quite like this color this was $4.95 um, I bought this back when like Simple Colors was first released and um, it's okay like the formula of this is kind of thick and gloggy so I'm gonna put a little bit of nail polish remover in it to sort of thin out the formula and see how it goes but yeah I got that the second Sinful Colors nail polish I bought like a week later and this one is in 102 purple diamond and it's just this really pretty iridescent pearly purple color and this looks amazing in the bottle but it is kind of disappointing when you paint your nails because it's quite sheer and definitely not as opaque but I did get this one on sale and um, it was like an introductory price at Target so I have the price like over here somewhere and yeah this is quite pretty but I've only worn it once because I didn't really enjoy the color that it turned up to be. Okay so the next three I'm going to show you guys are from Sally Hansen and they're all from the Hardest Nails Extreme Wear range. The first one I picked up was in 300 white on obviously a white nail polish because the one I originally had was by BYS and I didn't have it for very long and it went gluggy because that's quite common for a white nail polish to like go gluggy just because of the formula and stuff but this one has been going strong and this is like a statement in my nail polish collection for nail art and stuff like that so I got that. The second one I picked up is in 220 Slurb City and this is just a metallic silver and pretty much bought this to replace my Revlon one which is like exactly like a metallic silver that I'd pretty much finished so I repurchased it from Sally Hansen because it's cheaper and I quite like the Sally Hansen formula so I got that and the third one is in 160 cherry red and I actually got this on the half off sale at Chemist Warehouse because I wanted a new red and um, I can't remember the price but it'll be on the screen here somewhere but it's a really really nice red. Okay so the next three I'm going to show you guys are from Astralis and these have all been bought at different times just like the others and the first one I'm going to show you I'm not too sure if I actually hauled this or not but it's the Astralis nail collar in Totes Amaze which is the fluoro pink and I've used a lot of this but I just tipped it upside down but it's like up to here or something. I've used a ton of this because it's such an amazing like fluoro pink and you guys probably know like this this nail polish a lot because Shannon XO has it and wears it. I actually had this before her and yeah. Um, but yeah, I got this and it's amazing. The second one I'm going to show you guys, you might have seen in my Follow Me Around vlog with Liv and this one is in Aqua and it's just this really, really pretty like bluey aqua colour. It's so pretty. It's like, it's like neon but it's not like does that make sense? I don't know if that does, but it's so freaking pretty. And I had been eyeing this colour off for so long, and I finally was like, buy it. So I got that, and I've been wearing this a lot, along with the um, fluoro pink as well. The third one I actually just picked up yesterday, and this is in Citrus. So I don't actually own like a pastel orange colour. I don't actually have anything like this in my collection, and I was like, well, it's half off because um, Kmart had like $4 off or something like that. So it worked out to be like 3 or $4 or something like that because these like retail for like 
eight dollars roughly which I think is a rip-off because it's just like I don't know I don't think the eight dollars is really worth it I think it's a bit steep but it's a really pretty color and I haven't tried this one out yet but it looks really nice so the next three are like from different brands so the first one is by Revlon and it's the top speed range and this is in 010 sheer cotton and I just thought this looked really really pretty and I don't have like a beigey cream color like this and as you can see, there's a bit of a mess there because I kind of spilt my silver Sally Hansen nail polish on it. But yeah, I got this on the half-off sale at um, Chemist Warehouse also. So this worked out to be like 6 or $7. So I love this. The second last nail polish is from Savvy by DB. And this is in Blue Bayoi. I think that's how you say it. I'm not too sure. But it's a light blue glitter top coat. That has a few silver um, hexagon glitters through it but I thought this was really pretty and I don't have a light blue glitter top coat so I bought it because it was really really cheap and the last nail polish I've got to show you guys I'm actually wearing all my nails and it's an OPI nail polish and this is in golden eye from the James Bond collection and this is it yeah it's so freaking pretty like I have worn this so many times since I've got it and I bought this when I um, went shopping with Liv so Oh, maybe like three weeks ago or something and I've worn this so many times like oh my god so pretty like I hate gold actually like hate it don't like the color of it don't like the jewelry but this is my only exception amazing okay so that's all the nail polishes out of the way now I'm going to go ahead and get started with eye products so to get started with the eye products I'm going to show you guys the two eyeshadow palettes I have bought the first one is by Astralis and it's the Paparazzi Perfect High Definition Eyeshadow Palette and this is in Snap Attack. So that's just the packaging on the back so it kind of like shows you a picture of what the eyeshadow colours are and that's the front, the typical like Astralis like um, packaging, the hot pink. And so they're the colours there. I absolutely love this palette. I use every colour but that colour in the centre because it's like an orange colour and I don't think I can really like work with it if that makes sense but... I absolutely love this palette. I'm wearing it today. I've been using this like on a daily basis over my naked palette. Yeah, my naked palette. So the other eyeshadow palette I picked up was actually by Maybelline and I think this is like my first Maybelline powder eyeshadow and like palette from them. And this is in Natural Smokes and oh my god the applicator just fell out. Um, anyway, so they're the colours that I haven't actually like used this to be honest. Like I'm not even kidding. I haven't actually used this and I've had it probably a month or maybe a little bit longer but I think this was kind of like an impulse buy to be honest because it was during the half off sale at Chemist Warehouse and it was only like six or seven dollars or something like that like it was really really cheap and I thought I'd try it out um I've swatched it um the eyeshadow seemed really like quite nice but I can't really tell you anything about it because I haven't really used it but that's that there by Essence. Um, it's a Kajal pencil in 19, all I want. So it's just a nudie beige eyeliner. And I got this because people said it's really nice on the waterline instead of white, which I don't actually use anyway. Um, because I don't think it looks natural at all. And I don't really think it does brighten your eyes that much. But that's the colour there. It looks kind of like, you know, brown and stuff. But it looks really natural on the waterline. And if you maybe are really, really tired, it looks really nice. Because your waterline generally gets quite red if you're tired. Or maybe your eyes are irritated. Um, it looks really nice because it, like, tones that redness down. So it makes you look more, like healthy and awake and stuff like that so I got to that. I also picked up a long lasting eye pencil from Essence which is their retractable ones and this is in 15 bling bling so this is like a bronze um, eyeliner which I have been wanting for quite a while and I bought it like back in February and actually Liv bought this for me because I didn't actually have the money to buy it like that sounds really funny but like um, I needed the money for other things but I wanted it and it was like two dollars so she bought it for me which was really nice of her but this looks so so nice like smoked out on the lower lash line or even like joined like on the top and the left like the top lash line and the bottom lash line that probably doesn't make sense but like I can picture it in my head and I've already done it so yeah I got that. Okay, so the third eyeliner I've got to show you guys is an actually by Essence this is by Maybelline it's a repurchase of the Maybelline Master Precise liquid liner so it's just you know the pen no it's not a felt tip I hate it when people say that because it's not a felt tip it's like plastic fibers it's like a really really tapered liquid liner brush but like in a pen form that probably doesn't make sense but 
Anyway, that's just that there. Last eye product I've got to share, guys, is a mascara and it's by CoverGirl. It's the Clump Crusher and I really, really like this. Um, I know some people don't and some people do, but I've heard mostly good things about it. But that's just the wand there. It's really, really nice. Um, I really like this because it separates my eyelashes, but it does volume them really, really nicely. And yeah, I quite like this. I got it on sale um, at Big W when they had the introductory price when they first brought it out. And I think it's actually still going. If not, um, Kmart has it for $10. And at Safeway, you can buy one cover your mascara and get one free. But yeah, um, I actually picked this up in blackish brown. I was really, really annoyed. I didn't realize until I got home. And because I bought it like from a shopping center that isn't local, I didn't really have the energy to like go all the way back there just to like exchange it so I've been using it it's not that noticeable that it's like kind of brown and stuff but yeah anyway I got that and I quite like it and yeah okay so the first so the first three lip products I'm going to show you are a lip balm, a lip liner and a lip gloss so I'll get started with the lip gloss which is by Essence it's the XXXL Shine Lip Gloss in 01 Pure Chic. This is just a clear gloss as you can see. I just bought this because I didn't already own one and sometimes I really want a clear gloss to put over a lipstick but like not kind of change the colour by putting like a coloured gloss on it. So I got that. Next lip product is also from Essence and it's another lip liner. This is I think my fourth or my fifth. I nearly have all the colours. This is in 06 Satin Mauve and this is just a really nice mauve colour as the name suggest oh it's kind of like bent can you see that I don't know if you can but um this is really nice it's quite close to my natural lip color so it doesn't look like extremely like different on my lips I don't know that probably didn't make sense but anyway I picked that up because I wanted to get this color because it's quite similar to my natural lip color and lastly the lip balm that I don't need because I've got so many lip balms already but this is a soft lips vanilla lip balm SPF 20 this is just what it looks like here and I pretty much picked this up because a lot of people have talked about these and said good things about them but to be honest it's just a lip balm. I don't find anything special about it. It smells really nice in the tube, really nice and vanilla -y, but it's um, really minty. Like when you, put them up, when you put it on your lips within I think about 10 seconds you start to get this kind of like tingly sensation. It's nothing like painful or anything, it's just like a tingly sensation. I was like, okay. Um, this was like quite expensive and you get like no product in this thing. So yeah, I'm definitely not going to pick this up again and I probably wouldn't recommend it to anyone to be honest. Like I'd rather recommend like a baby lips and I don't even like the baby lips that much. But yeah, anyway, I got that. Moving on to lipstick, I have three to show you guys. So the first one is by Sports Girl and I wanted to get this because I saw Beauty by Britney X use it in one of her Get Ready With Me videos, I'm pretty sure. And this is in Beauty Queen and this is a cream finish. So this is just what the lipsticks look like and I really like lipsticks that have the colours at the bottom. I just think it looks cool to be honest. Like, yeah. Anyway, um, it's just a really, really pretty colour. Like, oh my god. It's so pretty. Like, I will swatch this for you because it's, it's swatch worthy. Like, if that makes sense. I don't know. But that's the colour there. It's just such a pretty colour. Like, you can't tell me that that's not pretty. Like, seriously. And, yeah. Um, this is really, really nice on the lips. It's quite moisturising and very nice and opaque. So, I got that. The second lipstick I picked up, I was actually on the hunt for in my Follow Me Around video that you might have seen. Um, the Revlon lipstick in 008 Candy Pink. I ended up opting to go buy it off eBay and it was only like 8 or $9 in total. And yeah, so I got the lipstick. I have been wearing this quite a lot as like an everyday lip colour to school, or I should say TAFE. But that's the colour there. This is just like, seriously like the perfect pink. Like, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but it's legit like the most amazing pink. It looks so, it, it looks so intense and like scary in the tube, but it's like kind of sheer. So that's the colour there. As you can see, not like a huge difference between that one, but like it's such a pretty colour. Like, oh my god, I love it. So, yeah, I got that. Lipstick I've got to show you guys, I picked up yesterday actually, and I'm wearing it right now. It's by Maybelline, and I'm pretty sure this is from the Vivids range because they've come out in Australia, but it says on the label Colour Sensational, but it's in 902 Fuchsia Flash, and I'm pretty sure this was one of the Vivid colours because I swatched all of them to choose like which one I wanted to buy and I chose this one and all the colours look similar to swatches and the names so 
I don't really know, unless they're not called like Vivids here. I don't really know. Maybe it's not a Vivid lipstick, but it has the same packaging and all. You know, the red colour, which really annoys me. I'm not going to lie. Like, I hate it. I really wish that the lipstick was like the, the plastic was that colour because it looks nicer. Because like, if you bought them all, you just got all these red tubes and it looks... I don't know. I don't like it. But anyway, this lipstick is the bomb.com. Like, literally amazing. It's like... Aside from the amazing colour, I love the formula and the scent. Like, it's got this really nice, like, I don't really know how to describe it, but it doesn't smell, like, makeup-y and cheap and nasty. It's just, like, amazing. And it's so opaque and just creamy. And my lips haven't dried out. And I've been wearing this since about 11 o'clock, and it's now 2 o'clock. So it's, yeah, amazing. So that's the colour there. Freaking amaze balls, right? just so good um i got this on sale i don't want to pay the 16 17 dollars that it retails for i got it um fairly cheap i'll have it on the screen again but um yeah that sale is still on at i think it was big w or kmart Ugh, i don't know it was like three or four dollars off something like that so yeah i got that so now we've got nails eyes and lip products out of the way i'm going to move on to face products so the first thing i'm going to start with was actually a set i bought back in the beginning of february and it came with a black sparkly makeup case i had the exact same thing in my giveaway but it was this astralis set came with the primer um the finishing spray and the ready set go translucent loose powder holy cow this thing is amazing i absolutely love it i just thought you know it's a pressed powder yeah like I didn't understand why people were raving about it but it's actually such an amazing formula it's so finely milled and like your face feels so soft and velvety um I used to use the face of Australia translucent loose powder which Lauren Beauty uses and she loves that one but honestly this is better I absolutely love this anyway that came in it as I've already said but um this like little set with the makeup bag retailed for $20 or $19.95 um, the, the value was like $41 and I think 85 cents and I paid $5 I know it was on clearance and I got it for $5 which is pretty much like free to be honest I was paying for the makeup bag and um, I bought it pretty much because I wanted I haven't tried this like I hadn't tried it and I would nearly finished my primer and I was halfway through this so these were kind of like backups and I've been using this um, for about a month now and I love it so I got that little set. So moving on I picked up a foundation by Maybelline it's from the Fit Me range and this is in 120 classic ivory so that's the colour there and yeah. The next thing is actually a repurchase and I got this again at the Chemist Warehouse like half off sale. Um, no, actually, I'm not sure that this was actually half off. I'm not too sure. Anyway, um, I just repurchased the Garnier BB Cream because I was getting fairly low on my other one, which I only just finished not long ago. And I've had this one, like, on backup for about a couple of weeks now. So it's just been sitting there. But I finally started using it the other day. And, yeah, I last base product I've got to show you guys is actually a highlighter. And this is a liquid highlighter, which is my very first liquid highlighter. Say highlighter again. Okay. Anyway, this is the Astralis Highlights Mineral Face Highlighter Pearl. Obviously in pearl, because I just said that. Um, but that's that there. They came out with these, um, I think maybe in December or February, something like that. But I decided to pick one up. It comes with a pump, which I really, really like. And then you can just, like, put a little bit on. Um, like, you can control, like, how much you want to pump out. You don't have to fully, like get a ton out so it just looks like that little dot there when you pump it out and I'll just like sort of blend it out and show you guys what it looks like um I preferred this one over the gold just because I thought it would look a little bit more natural and I've got it on today don't know if you can tell but it's like can you see it it's really really pretty it looks really natural and yeah I got that on sale because they had like three dollars off Astralis at the time that I bought this so yeah okay, so that's all the makeup I've got to show you guys I was going to squeeze in the skincare products but this video is already way too long and I have enough skincare products to make a separate video for that so I'll haul that in a separate video so not only will you be seeing a skincare haul you're also going to be seeing an MUA haul and review now that was originally an unboxing haul but I accidentally deleted the footage so I've got to refilm it and I thought because I've had it for nearly a month and I've used like everything that I could like give you a review 
um, like a quick little review on each product. So that's two hauls and you've also got an accessory haul coming up because I've bought quite a few like little um, accessories like whether it's hair or if it's sunglasses or jewellery or whatever. So that will be coming up very shortly. So that's three upcoming haul videos that um, I will be uploading. So before I end this I just want to ask you guys if you prefer um, collective hauls of like a month or two or something. Trust me you won't be seeing this much in collective hauls because I just bought a lot because it was the summer holidays because I tend to shop a lot more on the summer holidays because it's after Christmas. But anyway, would you rather see like long collective hauls or short little hauls like every couple of weeks or something like that? So let me know down below in the comments also along with some video requests because I'd really like to know what you guys want to see in the future other than those three upcoming hauls. So that's everything um, for today's video and yeah, I will speak to you guys in my next video. Bye!